Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. This is actually a rerun of a video. Um, Jez and I um, do a live crafting session on a Saturday, um, on the first Saturday of every month over on our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. Um, and we did it um, this afternoon. And um, sadly, um, the second half of my video, for some reason, my camera just went really blurred and nobody could see what I was doing. So I've come on here to remake the card. This is the card that I actually made. I had already made it in another colourway. That one there. Lovely, love both these colour schemes actually. Um, but I'm going to remake this one exactly as it was so that the people who were trying to watch live can actually see what I was trying to do this afternoon. I've got no idea why that went wrong. Um, and I've no idea how to fix it either, which is a bit sad. So I'm just hoping next time it works all right. This is the set that we're using. Um, it's called Back to Back Blooms and it's, called, it's one of our reversible sets, which means you take the stamp and you stamp it and then you turn it over and you stamp like a shadow, which in, in fills the shape. So here I've used this little scribbly tall flower and then turned it over and the, the coloured bit is the, um, is the back of the stamp. So let's get started. So I've got a pool party um, card blank, which is 15 by 21 scored at eight and ten and a half centimetres. And then I've got two panels. I think the first one is 13 and a half by six. And then the other one is five by 13, five and a half by 13. So you just end up with a little border all the way around. Right, we're then going to start stamping. Um, I'm going to find a piece of scrap paper. Well, I shouldn't need it with this. So I'm using that, that scribbly, um, that tall one with all little scribbly flowers at the edge. And I'm going to stamp first of all in Bermuda Bay. Now, if you wanted this to be exactly symmetrical and spaced correctly, you could measure. I'm just going to do this by eye. So I want that to be about in the middle like so and I'm going to do one at this end one at this end so I'm doing these all in Bermuda Bay and then another one there like so right I'm going to put the Bermuda Bay away I'm going to grab my chamois if I can find out where that is no, it's not. Oh, there it is. Sitting on my desk the whole time. Right, I'm going to clean that off. And then I'm going to turn this stamp over. So we're going to use the back of it now. So I'm going to turn it over. So the bit with the lines, the, the image on it is going on there. And then I've just got this solid background. And I'm going to take Coastal Cabana, first of all. So the whole of the back of that stamp is inked. And it will layer roughly, it's not an exact fit, but it will lay. oh, it's fallen off. Um, that's because it wasn't quite dry when I did that. So just be careful, just let it dry when you've got a bit more time. Um, but it fits over well enough. And I've not done any stamping up uh, off with these. I'm just stamping the pure colours. So that's that. And then I'm going to come in with Pool Party. So I need to clean that off again. I'm just going to dry it a little bit just to make sure it clings. It's obviously not got as much surface area to cling when you're using it this way round. So you just need to make sure it's really stuck. And then pool party. Is in filling the other one. There we go. And then we're going to do some leaves and we're going to use um, a granny apple green for the leaves. There are two leaves here that go, one goes like that, one goes like that. And so I'm going to use both of them. So I'm doing this one on the left hand side. Oh no, I won't. No, I'm going to do this one on the right hand side. Just turn it over. So you could just turn this over, you could just turn, use one and turn it over, use it the other way round. Like 
so. And then I'm going to use the other one on the other side. Um, around yeah like that do that there sorry about that just took me a while to refocus it so sorry if you were watching our live earlier such a pain that um did i don't know i don't i've got to sort out what the problem was really before we do another one it went a little bit strange last month really strange this month just went a little bit but can't work out why that happened and until we know why it happened can't really do anything about it to fix it but the video was completely unusual which is why I've, unusable which is why I've come back on to do the card here right so these are going on and again just make sure they are dry so that they stick nicely and then back to granny apple green but this time we're going to stamp off and I'm going to use the the fatter one that I used on the right side to do the left hand side one. So these, again, don't fit exactly. Don't spend ages agonising over trying to get them to fit exactly because they don't. But the actual effect that you get is sort of a watercolour-y. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's nice. I don't generally like messy things, but I think this works quite well. So that's that one. And then lastly, this one. So I'm just stamping it off. I stamped it in full strength to do the outline. And now I'm stamping off to do the infill. They look a bit like little hyacinths or something like that, do you think? Not that you get turquoise hyacinths, I don't think. There we go. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the other tall flower in, which is this one that's got these little three petal flowers. And I'm just going to infill the bottom bit a bit. And I'm doing this with soft saf so saffron. So just nice light colour just to fill in at the bottom here. Thing. I said on the other video, this is this is a much neglected stamp set. I've not seen very many people using it, but actually it's a lovely set. I do like it, although those of you who have followed me for a while will know that I'm a sucker for any sort of um, flowery set. I do like my florals. Right, okay, so now we're ready to just mount that onto our card. So that's going on there. Take the lid off the glue, it would help, wouldn't it? There we go. And then that is going to mount onto there. So like I said, this was from our Facebook Live on Saturday. The first card that I made, most of it worked okay. So that is on the live video. So that will be on my channel. But this one just was completely blurry and nobody could see what I was doing. So which is why I'm remaking it. And then the last thing I'm going to do on this card is a little greeting. This is from the Vine Design set, which I thought I had here somewhere. Yes. Got some lovely sentiments here and I'm just using this lovely happy birthday, which I really like. And I've white embossed it, white emb heat embossed it in white onto a little bit of um, Coastal Cabana to go down there. So sweet. Oops. There we go. There we are. 
and then I will do a white panel with just one of these little stamps inside. I think I did do it. Oh, I can show you, yeah, for that one. I just did that inside. So, I hope you like my card. So there's that one. Here's the other one that I made on the live video, which you can go and find my video um, and have a little look at that. Um, sorry about the live not working properly. We'll try and sort that out for next time. But thank you for joining us if you did. Um, if you'd like to join us next time, just search Facebook for Come Crafting with Jill and Jez and request to join our group. And you'll be very welcome to join us on a Saturday afternoon next month. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye.